Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Darila, thank you guys for stopping by. Today we've got something kind of interesting going on on the Legends channel. So, as I'm sure many of you know, when you play Elder Scrolls Legends for the first time, you want to do the story mode initially to get access to a bunch of free cards, free decks, level ups, that kind of thing. This is the first deck that you're actually awarded with when you play the story. So uh, long, long time ago, when I'm sure all of us played this game for the first time, you know, years ago, uh, you were awarded this deck after your beating of the third chapter in the story. And this deck is called Band of Survivors. Uh, taking a look at it, it's kind of rough. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It's a little bit rough. But I thought that this would be a fun little exercise to see how well this deck would do in the modern meta of Legends and to see if we could actually pull out any wins with it whatsoever. Sometimes foreshadowing is relatively obvious. As you guys know, I'm constantly trying to do kind of fun stuff like this and, uh, I don't know, figure out interesting ways to get wins. So uh, going through, like, I like the Fiery Imp here. Morthal Watchman and Scuttler are a little bit tough to see. Same thing with the Gerald Forager. But I guess all these cards can get boosted up by the Orc Clan Captain and by... Where else did I see it? Um, I mean, Resolute Ally technically could bump some stuff up, but it's it's at like less than a 50% chance of pulling something. Um, or pulling its effect. Divine Fervor could boost these guys up as well. We're basically going to want to play this very, very aggressively. We only have three prophecies, so we're just going to want to hit face until our opponent dies i think that's pretty much the the very basic game plan here and i really don't have that much more to say about this deck i mean it's we'll, we'll see <laughs> that's all that i have to say so i will uh see you guys on the other side all right so we're going up against mc underscore jost today the moon chaser or jost um they are on guild swarm they've got the house telvani back on their card and they've got a uh, 90 card deck so we'll have to see what they're rocking with here i like the fiery imp right out the gate and the kvach soldier resolute ally is best to get down early in my experience especially in a deck like this that has a bunch of cards that aren't uh willpower yeah but uh how are you guys I've been releasing a lot of stuff on the channel lately, a lot of different variety type things. I'm hoping that you guys have been enjoying that. I know some of you have been. Others have not been so much. That's okay. Um, perfectly fine to not want to watch something that I put out. <laughs> uh, let's see what this guy does. Plunder. Okay. Plunder is a pretty good card, I would say. We're just going to want to see if we can beat him down. So far, we've drawn three, four yellow cards, and uh, that's not really good for <laughs> Resolute Ally. We only have one Piercing Javelin in this deck as well, so we need to kind of ration that. Okay, well, that took an age. I wasn't going to say anything about it, but damn kill that and we actually hit a prophecy well, that's an interesting interaction we'll get the skin grad uh, patroller out <laughs> I didn't even know the name of this card um, skin grad also by the way is the new chapter zone that they're gonna be doing for Elder Scrolls online so that should be kind of cool okay I love MC Jost <laughs> Absolutely love him. Should we just deal the one damage? I'll, actually, I'll get the Hive Defender. I'm going to move it in the shadow lane to avoid kind of... Oh, that was loud. Okay, yeah, uh, sorry, I was getting pinged on Discord. Well, uh, now I have to decide if Heavy Battle Axe, so this would be 7, plus 5 would be 12. Uh, yeah, Heavy Battle Axe is probably fine. Fortune favor me. Fortune favor, Fortune favor you. Okay. 
Well, there goes all of his stuff. Ooh, we got a desperate conjuring. Uh, a good it, it, it just left. <laughs> wow. Okay, maybe it's not as bad as I thought. Okay, we're up against Perugio, the agent of the throne. And Perugio is on Telvani with the Mages Guild background on their card. 77 card deck. This is a decent opening hand, kind of similar to what we had last time with the Kabach Soldier. And the Gerald Forager. I like the art on that card. Hello. Yeah, I like that. Uh, we'll go with the... I'll lay her down. Why not? Gerald Forager down. And we got the Resolute Ally as well, which I didn't even use last game. So I believe it was 20... Okay, they've already got quite a uh, board state going on. I'll put the... Ooh, hmm. Well, this is where this is going to get tricky, right? I think I want to do this. Okay, cool. And then we'll lay down the Kavach soldier. I didn't just want to hit him there because I don't want to run out of steam entirely on this side. Well, okay. That is an option. Uh, yeah, why not? I'm going to try the Resolute Ally. And it actually procced. Okay. Usually when I have cards like that, they just never do anything. <laughs> so let's see. We'd have to hit him three times with all these creatures. But we can bump down an Orc Clan Captain as well. Get that number down. So, Orc Clan... Uh, I'll deal four with him, then with her, then there, and then what else? Should probably get something else down. Valenwood Huntsman could be an option. Uh, I think Skingrad Patroller is fine. What's Perugio going to do about this? Swing, swing, or swing, swing onto this guy. Okay. Yep. That one makes sense. You'll not be rid of me that easily. And we can just poke this thing with the Valenwood Huntsman. Were made. Yep, that's okay. Wait, it, how did Mana Marco get into his... Oh, Scout's Report. Okay. Sunhold Medic. Wow, did we play the Sunhold Medic? Is that the move? Because I've got six... Got nine damage, ten with this. I don't know if that's going to be enough to sustain me. I might need to actually take a breather here. Uh, Sunhold medic, heal this up, kill this. He could have ice storm, which would be upsetting. Be very upsetting, but I'm just going to go for it. And yep, <laughs> it's a prophecy. Uh, this is why I don't like aggro. Shriveled Mummy, this. Yep, that bumps us down by quite a bit of damage. Although, if he did have Ice Storm, I don't... I wouldn't have used that, so I don't think he has Ice Storm anymore. Got, oh, we need one damage and poke. So if we draw one of those heavy battle axes, that could be good. This deck is so bizarre, there's only one of those in the deck, so... <laughs> Interesting. Okay, uh, charge creature. He did block me up, but... That's whatever. Uh, I'll kill this and this. To deal that extra little bit of damage. He's lightning bolted me. And I'm gonna split up my lanes.
Wow. Okay, we got the win. Jeez. <laughs> this is doing a lot better than it should probably, right? And so I come back to a Morthal Watchman in my hand. <laughs> All right. Come on. Ugh. Here we go. Okay, I think this is a decent start. We've got actually a nice curve going on here. If Mighty Ally procs, then I think this deck is busted. Oh my god. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Yeah, that's insane. We can do this. Oh boy. Cliffside lookout. Okay. You well, we'll do the six. And then another six. And a Sunhold Medic over here to buff this guy up. And we should win next turn. <laughs> Is that right? Yep, there's the dragon. Um, I'll hit with these guys first. <laughs> That's insane. That's absolutely insane. Three up, three down. Okay, we're up against Tom Clancy S1, the Grave Digger. I think I've been recording for like 15 minutes, and we've won three games already, which has been pretty insane. Uh, the Gerald Forager is actually doing pretty well, followed up by... So, Morthal Watchman, Gerald, and then... Orc Clan Captain. Wow. <laughs> okay. I think it's just nobody's expecting anyone to be running this type of crap uh do we just i think we just beat him up right we just don't really care about this and we beat him up i don't know i don't play aggro that much daring cut purse is gonna be annoying though oh pinged on discord again that never happens and then i forgot to put down my orc clan captain this match is ruined <laughs> No this one can be gotcha. Ooh. That's rough. Hmm. Well, can we race him? I think we can race him. I don't know. I'm gonna try. Might be a bad idea. Hey, get out of here, bozo. <laughs> Not Tom Clancy, the Daring Cup purse is the bozo. Give no this one can become Napoli. Let's stop Kajit. Okay, he's got a javelin of his own. I think we'll just continue hitting him. Just lay down a bunch of crap. <laughs> I could have put the Kavach Soldier over here, I suppose. Blocked him up from hitting me, but I don't mind taking a bit of damage here. Rajini Highwayman. Another Kavach Soldier could be good. Ooh, yep, there's the Rimmon Siege weapon. I was kind of expecting that at some point. Scuttler. Okay, well, we'll go with the Scuttler Kavach Soldier. 
I'm hoping to pull a random win out of my ass with heavy battle axe. This one can be counted upon. Also, the fact that we that we uh, pulled that. Uh, what am I trying to say? The fact that we pulled that javelin on prophecy is really nuts. Okay, no master of thieves though. We still we live through this. I mean, you probably do like boom and then do this, or or that. Yeah, that makes the most sense. But we've got. So this is going to become 9 damage plus 2 is 11 plus the heavy battle axe, and he doesn't have a guard, so I think that's a win, provided we don't hit a prophecy. So we'll go 2, then we kill this thing, put down the orc clan captain, we get 12 damage over here, and we win. <laughs> Scuttler OP. Man, that's ridiculous. Uh, okay, we're up against this, uh, the Souse. At, at first I thought it was Theseus, but that's not how you spell Theseus. Theseus is maybe how you're supposed to say it, but I don't think that's... The AU would make an aw noise. I don't know. The Souse. <laughs> Uh, we're up against this guy, though. They are on a 74 card Rhetoran deck. I don't really like doing the Sunhold Medic right away. I'd prefer to get down... Let's do Skin Grad skin Patrol. Gotta slow down. You need to relax! <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll do Skin Grad Patroller. And he has no answer for that. So we'll follow it up with another one. Respect my power and feel my fury! I don't think there's a shrine to Kinnereth in Skingrad. The shrine to Kinnereth in Oblivion. Here's some deep lore for you. I believe it was supposed to be in the town of Such that was removed before the game's actual release. Isn't that a fun fact? We're going to stack up in this lane. And High Hrothgar. That could be very, very interesting to see how that pans out. There's our first Tusked Bristleback, which, for those of you that remember the Foe Invade deck that I tried to make, that is a difficult word for me to pronounce for some reason. <laughs> tusked. Tusked Bristleback. I've, I've never had, like, speech issues or anything, but I think I just talk too fast sometimes, and so my L's are not excellent. Um... Like, I have to really think about saying my L's sometimes. Okay, so we'll go... We want to counteract any health that this thing is gaining every turn. So we can do that with this. And I think just getting down a Tusked Bristleback could be good. And then we could do a similar strategy to what I did last time. Because we've got uh, 11, 3 is 14, 15, 16. Never mind. That kills this almost certainly. Yep. Okay, so now we're we're in Problemville. Never mind. Uh, crushing blow. Boom. It's ooh, it's that crushing blow. I need to get rid of that. Oh, could I have one? Wait, three damage. Oh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah, I could have won. Damn. Oops. That's okay. If this thing gets to attack at all, we win. But I noticed the error of my ways almost immediately. And he's just going to leave anyway. Definite misplay on my part, but... What is that? Five wins in a row? Something like that? <laughs> Something crazy ridiculous? Okay, we're up against... Uh, Osgaric, the Usurper. And they are on... The Empire of Cyrodiil, 76 card deck. This is probably the worst opening hand we've gotten so far. I'm going to throw all of it back. Ooh. Hmm. Okay. 
Well, that's fine, because our next draw is going to be a two drop. Hey! <laughs> Ask and you shall receive. Finally playing against players that are at like rank 5 again, which is kind of nuts. I feel like I've been down down in the gutter for quite a while. Just throw that guy over there. If he's on some big health gain empire deck, I think we lose. It's looking like that is the case. <laughs> Crushing Blow could be used effectively. Okay, let's break the rune first. I'm going to do a Hive Defender instead, because I think the Crushing Blow could be used for Reach uh, like it was in the last game, or like it could have been in the last game. I don't really mind if he hits this. Okay, he's going to do Finish off. Okay, he's definitely getting a lot of value by slowing us down right now. I think now I'm just going to crush and blow this, because I don't want that to be around. And now, knowing that he's running finish off, I'm going to bump this guy's health up, not this one, because he could just kill this with a leaf lurker or a finish off. There's the black dragon. Uh, wow, I feel like this guy's been shackled for a while. Uh, yeah, I don't really care about the black dragon, to be honest. I could do a Loyal House Carl or a Heavy Battle Axe on this guy. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's correct here. Because if I do Heavy Battle Axe here, I don't really have a follow up play. I would kill the Black Dragon, but then what does he get down at turn six? I don't know. I guess we'll figure it out. I said I don't care about the Black Dragon. That still stands. Immolating Blast. Well, that sucks. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta take a leap of faith. Faith, of course, being the most dishonest position a person can have in philosophical terms. Ooh, the Murkwater Shaman. That sucks. Damn. He's getting away with a lot here. He's just going to kill this with a... Oh, man. Okay, could I do a Loyal House Carl here? On this. Give him that card. That... Nice. Should have laid that down first, but oh well. If he just kills my White Run Trooper, then I can still win with a Heavy Battle Axe, provided there's no guard. Never mind. <laughs> Two Heavy Battle Axes, though. Could be nice. Piercing Javelin. Could be nice. Unfortunately, we will not get any of those. I'm not going to waste my Heavy Battle Axe right now. I'm going to wait. He's got a 10. The Siege of Stros Mackay. Okay. So that makes sense why he's got all these health gain cards. And he actually pulled Morakai with that. I do have to say, this is by far the most interesting game that we've had so far. What does he sacrifice, though? Morakai? He could sacrifice Morakai to summon a better Morakai. Or Black Dragon to summon a better Black Dragon. What's he got in his discard pile? Golden Initiate, that makes sense, too. Okay, he shouldn't be summoning any more creatures, though. Well, if he's got any one-cost creatures, he can summon them now. 
illusory defense. It's pretty smart because now he gains two health and he could sacrifice one of those <laughs> to gain two more. I like this turn. This is a cool turn. And then, yeah, you just curse this twice. That's pretty awesome. Not gonna lie. Very good turn. Okay, well, we still have more health than he does, somehow. So... I'll get my Golden Saints down. Do I really want to kill... everything? Like, I'd have to use all of these to get rid of this. I don't really think I want to do that, but I do want to preserve this thing's life as well. I could use the Heavy Battle Axe. Huh. If I use the Heavy Battle Axe on this to kill it, he doesn't have health gain, but he's just going to throw down a giant bat to kill this. Or maybe even this with help from that, and he's got a two-cost Golden Initiate. This is tough. Stendar, give me strength. I don't really like the Golden Saints here, because now he can't hit me, and he's got all this health gain. And he's just going to use that to buff up his health while not decreasing my own. So that's upsetting. Uh, ooh. I have you now. I'm going to do the controversial this play. I'll hit this just just because. Um, yeah. I'm going to do that. Because he can giant bat this or this with help from this to kill it. We'll see what he decides to do. Thankfully, his soul tears are gone. But that... Yeah. So, but that doesn't mean... Oh, what's he got? What's he doing? Mechanar's will. Nice. But that does not mean that he... Oh, that was smart, too. Nice. Playing against a big brain gamer. Um... That does not mean that he can't take stuff from the discard pile still. Is what I've been trying to say. Thank you. He must have gotten my piercing javelin or something. For saying thank you. Oh, well, I did just compliment him too, didn't I? Alright, well, uh, this game is totally washed, but we'll stick it out. Very good siege turn, honestly. Divine Fervor. Okay. See ya. <laughs> I don't want to be around for this. Okay, we're up against the Crown. They are the Miraculous. They're on Rhetoran. And they are on the Daggerfall card back with a 100 card Rhetoran deck. We'll throw those back. I'll keep the Imperial Legionnaire. Not a terrible opening hand. Hail, friend. Hello. Uh, yeah, I don't really want to play too heavily into that. Valenwood Huntsman could be a good way to pop the ward on that. Imperial soldiers never surrender. If he doesn't pop the ward himself. If he does, then I've just lost an Imperial Legionnaire. But I'm kind of hoping that he won't. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Some things you just can't prepare for, you know? I fight 
with the fervor of the wild hunt. Okay. We are fading fast. <laughs> uh, White Run Trooper should be able to kill this, but we did not get the upper hand in the opening. Unfortunately. The Windkeep Spellsword could have... Jesus, man. Uh, could have killed me even if I put the Valenwood Huntsman down too because he had the Daedric Crescent. Uh, yeah. I mean, this is just... This is awful. Put the Scuttler down. <laughs> just to put something down. The day is mine. I would have swung with this guy first. He must have a way he can win. Yikes. Okay, well, Javelin is the only thing that could have saved me, but it's not here. So, yeah, we gotta kill this. Then we've gotta do uh, Sunhold Hello. Medic. Nope, that's not the card I even wanted. Um, fuck. <laughs> wanted a Resolute Ally. And it actually procced. That's interesting. Okay, well, we kill this, uh, but I can't really do anything else. I wanted to put down something different. I wanted to put down the the Resolute Ally and the Golden Saint, but I that just wasn't going to work with the Magicka cost. I thought this was the one cost card. Just, just a bad turn on my part. <laughs> so, good game. The victory is yours. Okay, we're up against Nimlin1995, the Walker of Mundus. They're on Guild Sworn, 75 card Guild Sworn deck. We'll see if they are playing Invade or not. Um, I don't like this hand. I, I liked the hands I was getting before with all the, the low cost creatures. I, this is not what I want. <laughs> okay, Invasion Scout. So this will be kind of interesting to see uh, how well this deck does against Invade. Because Invade, obviously, wasn't around when this deck came out, initially. Although, you know, Telvanni didn't exist either back then. Or Empire, or Redoran. So, it'll be cool to see. They're going to draw two. Not really worth hitting the portal yet. I want to get rid of this. And lay this guy down. Daedric Incursion. And a zero cost scamp. Okay, we got his portal, though. I will Ooh, I almost didn't hit it. Yeah, we got his portal. Um, we can do this as a 3-3 guard. Won't block this from dying, though. So, not really worth it. I'll do the drag and the watchman. And just get as much stuff down over there as I can. There's the Great Sigil Stone, which I just played the Vicious Dreg, so I can't get rid of that anymore. But it's this is a ridiculous support anyway, because it has a last gasp, so even if you do get rid of it, it'll still get its effect off, which is, again, ridiculous. Uh, let's put the Valenwood Huntsman here. And I've got Triumphant Jarl coming up. And there's Invasion Party. Okay. 
So now the only thing that can save us is our one of piercing javelin. <laughs> That's pretty much it. And this thing immediately rolls two of the best keywords comboed. Charge, guard. Nice. And now Triumphant Jarl won't work. This is awesome. Okay. Thankfully we can kill that. But I, I can't really do anything whatsoever anymore in this match. This is his game. He got the invasion party off. Now he's got a Daedra that's buffed up. Like, as if it had a Divine Fervor, and it's now reduced in cost by one. And it will now gain. Oh, it's got two keywords, so it'll gain, what? Okay, three on top of that. Yep. So, just again, I don't know what the development team was thinking when they came out with Invade. I've seen... This rolls guard, so we can't... Oh, okay, it rolls charge. Um, Yeah, I thought we could get the Triumphant Jarl off, but he, he rolled charge on a drain creature, so... Uh, we, while we can get rid of the portal now, it doesn't matter. The damage has been done. And I don't know what the devs were thinking uh, with this stuff, releasing Invade. Um, I've heard various degrees of, like, Invade is busted, Invade is overpowered. I don't think that it's busted. I just think it feels horrible to play against. It's not a fun archetype for anyone but the person playing it. And that's... Unfortunately, how a lot of cards in this game are, they're just very one-sided in their actual mechanical fun. So, uh, I don't know. That's my hot take. Mankar Cameron, why is he buffed up? Why, why does he... Oh, he was rallied, okay. Uh, well, Loyal House Carl, I guess, on this... And then we'll... Oh, what do we do? We actually kill this, I think. Because his Valkynaz Mage would be able to kill that anyway. And then maybe I can get a sneaky kill on his Mankar Cameron or his Oblivion Portal with my Heavy Battle Axe. Painted world. Okay. Are you trying to unite? He could unite the houses right now if he has the card. I thought that was it. This was a three cost. So, I think that's a perfect example of... Just including the painted world here. Of someone who just started playing when the... Oblivion DLC dropped and they had the Painted World and they were like, oh, that must go in the Invade deck. But that's just not connected at all. You can get value from anything in this game, though, given the right circumstances, so it's fine that he played it, but just kind of a bizarre thing to throw in there. But yeah, I do think uh, people say that Invade is very... Uh, it's bad the higher up you go in the ladder. I... I don't know if I really agree with that. I think there are ways to play around Invade if you stock your deck with executes and all that kind of stuff. But, like, this game is a card game. It is an RNG-based game at the end of the day. If your opponent gets a better draw than you in the early game, then that's just going to suck. And with Invade, I think it's very hard to reduce the damage that Invade does. Like, if your opponent rolls, you know, Valkynaz Mage, uh, Blast from Oblivion... Sigil Keeper, all in their opening turns, like, you're... What are you supposed to do against that? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we're up against Veya, the Master of Assassins. They are on a 51 card deck, and... Yeah. Uh, that's, that's about it. <laughs> They're the Master of Assassins. So, we'll see how this goes. They're at rank 4, which is 3 above where I'm at. I'm hoping this is something interesting.
Really, at this point, I'm hoping they just play a card. Okay. Fiery Imp, turn one, is pretty good. Can't ask for something much better. Skadoosh. Uh, I'll lay down the Sunhold Medic on the Imp. Okay, there's the House Kinsman. I think we'll get the Orc Clan Captain down. I'll kill this. He'll gain back his health, but that's fine, because we're going to undo it. Hello. Stand together. Uh, yeah, I think. Hmm, what can we do here? I'd like to keep this on board. Could do a crushing blow. And then this. And this. To preserve my my creatures on the board. Is at hand. Brutal ass lander. Is at hand. Okay. Okay. So now we are just completely kind of resetting here. Nice. If this is that deck that I showcased on the channel, um, the Last Gasp Assassin deck that I showcased on the channel, then uh, I don't really want to play a whole lot of stuff down because he could have Ice Storm at the ready, and this card is like one of the few cards in the deck that's impervious to that card. So he seems to be giving it a, a big old think. Okay, two Dark Rebirths gone. Huh. Not too bad. Well, unfortunately we have to play something, so I think he'll be getting some Ice Storm value. Or there's his Eclipse Baroness. The Cruel Fire Bloom. Okay. For the grave. Uh, Sench Tiger. Over here. I'm just gonna pivot everything over here. I'm gonna run away. Crushing blow. That is a creature. By the sacred words of that the is an Indoril Archmage. Hmm. Well, that sucks. Hmm. Okay. I think we'll just continue on. We've actually procced like every single summon effect that's conditional in this deck so far. By the 
Jesus. <laughs> Just gonna sacrifice it. Okay. Alright, well, uh. Triumphant Jarl. And. Orthal Watchman. And Resolute Ally. And we proc that one too. That's so weird. I never proc stuff. Okay, if he's got another Enderil Archmage, I'm gonna scream. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay. Do I have enough to win? Uh, eight plus three does not win anything. Unfortunately. Oh, we're so close. We're so, so close. We'll do a Sunhold Medic on my man here. A crushing Blow. And a Crushing Blow. Just going to use them both. If I can get a Valenwood Huntsman, I don't remember how many are in the deck, but if I, I can get one, then I can win. We've used all three of our Crushing Blows, though, so it's going to be a little bit rough. I know we've got more Axes. Let's go, then. My time is precious. Ah. Too bad. <laughs> the spider danger is pretty funny here. Okay. White Run Trooper. I'm just going to have to start playing stuff down. He's got uh, 8 plus 5, 13. Plus 5, 18. He's got exact lethal. So we'll just have to sit here and, and watch him kill me. <laughs> If we could get a Javelin, I don't believe we used one. Nope. So if we could get a Javelin on one of these four, then I could kill his spider. And effectively kill these as well. Yeah, so he got me. He got me with that one card. The House Kinsman uh, ruined any chance of winning. He's doing some mental math here. Hey, okay. Well, I guess we will kill this. I don't have any more crushing blows, though. <laughs> Should I have... No, because if I hadn't... Yeah, it, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter where that javelin would have gone, because if I just killed this, I would have died from the damage. And if I, even if I had killed it, he just had this Sadras agent anyway. So, a good attempt, but unfortunately, didn't work. Is that his first one? Wow, and he rolled a creature with, uh... <laughs> rolled a creature with Last Gasp. Which is pretty funny. Uh, I'll... Sure, I'll play this over here. There's the Ice Storm. That we were all waiting for, so we can get the kill with the brutal Ashlander. GG. 
Okay, so what have we learned today about this deck? Uh, it... Oh, God, I don't know. Uh, don't play it. <laughs> it's my general consensus. We got pretty lucky with a handful of games, but uh, I think you're going to get squashed in most cases if you play this. Uh, I was a little bit optimistic after we were on, like, what, a five-game winning streak at the beginning there, but... I think that I'm going to uh, put this deck to rest. I'm not going to play it again, but if you guys would like to relive the past of Legends a little bit, feel free to give it a shot. It's got some neat little tricks in here. It's got a lot of like little ways to, to gain some extra value, extra damage, and, and reach and whatnot. But a lot of this stuff, like having uh, two Scuttlers in here, is just silly. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know. Like I said before. Not a very good deck. Wouldn't recommend. But yeah, uh, that's going to be the end of the video there. I hope you guys thought that it was at least a little bit fun. Um, if not, please let me know. <laughs> this has been a bit of a goofy recording anyway. Uh, but yeah, I'll I'll catch you guys in the next one. This, this was just an annoying game to record. So I'll see you guys later. Peace out.